Hey, what's going on, guys? I wanted to present you a new feature that uh, has been introduced in Astocad. So, well, first, if you don't know Astocad, it's basically like a branch of FreeCAD with additional features and the subscriptions that I sell for it. And they basically help me work full time on FreeCAD, right? So that's like a video presenting in more details um, Astocad. So let me focus now on the new feature in um, in Sketcher that I introduced in the latest build of, uh, of Astocad. So we have um, we have um, the polyline tool that has been reworked uh, in depth and also I changed back the close button of the edit sketch panel because uh, many people disliked that I removed it and I came to term with it like I, we discussed it um, uh, and yeah I think like this it's it's maybe better with clear icons and touching the box so anyway so I have those buttons to approve and cancel the sketch editing and so the big feature that uh, is in this release is the polyline tool so the polyline tool is one of the only tools that didn't have like the uh, on view parameters so you know the uh, these um, spin boxes that appears that lets you type in dimensions. And so I implemented them here, right? So you can now use it to make uh, dimensions. And so maybe you can, you know, make a vertical line. So you could even type 90 if you want a vertical line, although you get a, an angle constraint. So that's not ideal. I will need to maybe change that. Anyway, you can type dimension and get the angle that you want so maybe it's 45 and so there is a bunch of new features on top of that the first one is the perpendicular auto constraint so i don't know if you're seeing but here it's de detecting a perpendicular auto constraint and so you see you get like the correct constraint right um so that's nice and then about the different modes because you know polyline the old polyline tool had many different modes so the new one only has line and arc and the way that works is that uh, let me give you an example so let's switch so you can use the m key to change the mod so m changes the mod between line and arc and so you see uh, now i have a tangent arc but if i go back to the starting point and then i start in and like not the tangent direction but if i start up then i get uh, a perpendicular arc okay and so if i go back that resets basically the arc and then i can start underneath and get an arc like this and go back and get an arc like that so like this you can make like the several modes of arc uh, directly and you can also use the OVP here you see the OVP that has zero written here you can also use it to have a special dimension so let's say you want maybe 60 degrees then you can have an arc at 60 degrees which is like a, yeah a small additional feature mm. and then it works yeah it works also when you start at another arc so that's that's nice and uh, on top of that we have um, let me think so if I go back to if I go back to a line after after the um, the arc uh, in the previous tool you would default to the tangent uh, line and which is also why you had like plenty of style for the um, plenty of mods for the um, drawing right but now we have a tangent auto constraint so you see here I'm going to get like this tangent constraint and yeah so that's uh, that's about it and yeah an additional feature is this option here the fillet option so the idea of this option is that it lets you like if you have to make a shape very often you will have rounded corners so it's basically a straight shape but with rounded corners right and so for this the fillet mode is very useful because you see if you uh, want 
like something 30 millimeters and then so let's make it vertical and then you want 20 here and go back here something like that all right so and you want rounded corners everywhere um, well what is nice is that it's it lets you add the dimensions not of the arc itself right but it includes the fillets so because very often you're not going to constrain the dimension of this segment right you're going to want to constrain the dim distance between this and this so yeah that's the idea of the fillet option and also it lets you draw much faster if you're if you're going to make a round corner which is like many cases of the 49 tool i guess then it's much faster right because you don't have to make switch the mode to arc then draw the arc and then make a tangent line and so on so yeah so that's um that's it for the for the tool and it also supports like undoing points with uh, the press of r button so let's say you are making a lot of points like this and then you press r it will just cancel them then you can undo the fillet option right continue retoggle the fillet option and fillet option is also working with arc so you can have yeah some very specific shapes let's say so <clears throat> well that's about it for the for this tool so if you want to check it it's so it's currently in the astocad build uh, it's uh, and um, yeah so it's not currently in the latest version of freecad right it's uh, it will be because um, my goal uh, with AstoCAD is to improve FreeCAD. So my goal is to ultimately bring changes into FreeCAD, but I have to keep like the new features for some time, like six months, maybe one year into AstoCAD so that AstoCAD is significantly better and people want to use it basically. So yeah, that's about it. If, uh, if you're not a subscriber uh, of AstoCAD yet, uh, please maybe consider becoming one. And if you already are one, thanks very much. Um, that's really awesome, right? It's, uh, uh, we are not yet enough so that I can um, have a full-time wage, but we're getting there and I think, uh, I think we'll get there eventually. So that's really, really awesome. So thank you very much. Huh? Well, thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.